she's been in the news quite a bit lately. She was all over the newspapers. Unfortunately, she lost her husband. Uh, as a counsellor, she had to stand down because of three apologies and it should have been leave of absence. Now you would think then the person that I'm talking about is now taking a break. Is going to take it a little bit easy, enjoy life a little bit more. I think it's the opposite. Serena, welcome. Hi, Wade, and you're right, quite right. It's the opposite. <laughs> Serena Laidler has decided I'm going to stand as a candidate for Breton, for the Liberal Party, representing in a way not only Breton, but also, of course, King Island. Now, Serena, this must be absolutely now. You created for yourself hectic times, haven't you? Oh, it's it is so unbelievably busy. Um, oh, yep. And and I think one of the things is I always do run on adrenaline, and so this is certainly causing a lot of adrenaline bursts, and it's exciting, and yeah, I'm flat out. <laughs> what what made you decide to 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 go and 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 become or become hopefully become uh, a, a member of the Parliament of Tasmania? That uh... well, you know, look, I've always um, been passionate about serving community. Um, and particularly the community of King Island, of course, but also the um, the Northwest community. And this is just really an expansion of what I've already been doing, um, going out there, listening to people, helping them solve their um, problems or or get help them get their message to government to solve their problems um, and issues. Um, so, yeah, it's um, it's just an extension of that. And I just wanted to the challenge and to expand. Now you have to you have to say, Serena, you love listening to people, but for the next four weeks, I think you're gonna be talking to people because I guess you're gonna get some skin on your knuck knuckles and some good shoes and go door knocking. Well, my word, I bought my good shoes with me. Um, they'll be door knocking. Um, I'll have a Facebook page set up very soon. Um, I'm I'm traveling across the northwest. Um, meeting with people. Um, I have connections right through from uh, Olveston, went to school in Olveston um, and have friends in Olveston. Uh, Bernie, where I've been partly based for the last few years um, in Somerset with my daughter um, and Circular Head in particular. I was born in Smithton, so I have quite a few family connections there. And I'll be back on King Island soon, and you'll certainly see my picture out and about. Well, that's what it's all about, I guess. That uh, when, when did you decide to, uh, well, maybe already before the elections or, or before they were announced, or when did you decide for yourself, yes, I'm going to try, have a go at it? Um, it? Really, it's only probably been a matter of weeks um, when I was approached, and I it did take me a little time to think about it, um, you know, because I had only really started to recover from losing Kevin. Um, but, you know, I, I had new energy and I good support for my family and we thought, well, this is a great opportunity and it's, you know, it, it's an honour and a privilege to serve on the Rockcliffe Liberal team. Um, you know, they've they're doing quite a lot for the state and yeah I want to have that input it's it's such it's so great to see such a variety of um people diverse people on their team um so right so obviously Braddon will have representatives all across um Braddon and I'm the first um candidate from King Island that people can rem um in living memory so um yeah so it's it's all very exciting I can imagine that uh, now you already mentioned Braddon. Um, you got a bit of a team there. Uh, hey, you got the, uh, well, was Premier uh, Jeremy Rockliffe, you got Roger Jans, you got Felix Ellis. That's a team there. It's like, get your votes, go for it. Yeah, yeah, no, we'll, we're all out there. Um, it's a wonderful team. I've met some lovely people, and um, I'm sure we'll all do a, a great job to represent Braddon and um, help. Uh, Jeremy Rockcliffe bring in hopefully a majority party. 
Now, it's what, what surprised me a little bit, Serena, when I did hear and I can see the blue and, yes, liberal. Um, now, with all the things you've done on, on King Island, I almost was inclined to think, well, if she ever goes politics, it will be Labour, but it's not. So so what's the driver? Um, oh, you know, I come from a liberal-based family, um, but most of all, I, I'm supportive of the values of... Um, the Rockcliffe team and their understanding of the importance of the cost of living, housing and um, health services, which we as King Islanders are you know, very, very much aware of, the, the, the need to keep working on those. And that's something that um, the, the Rockcliffe team is generally, genuinely um, working towards. Well, I now understand that uh, I'm sure and have been talking to you over the last few days that you definitely jumped on a merry-go-round since the announcement. Give us a bit of a rundown. What you've been doing over the last few days, it, uh, it must have been crazy. Well, it was because um, I was in, we were initially going to have pre-selection today and then um, I thought I had plenty of time in, up my sleeve. And on Thursday night, it was, no, nope, it's Sunday. So I had to jump on a plane um, and come to Tasmania and put my case forward um, and be accepted by the party members um, and then by the state executive. Um, so that was all, that all happened on Sunday. And then on Tuesday, Day yesterday was the big launch in Launceston, so I was able to be there and throw my hat up in the air. Um, and today I've started on the, you know, really it's, you know, building a campaign and, and talking to people that I know um, and, yeah, starting to work on getting all that in place. So, yeah, today's been a really busy day and then tomorrow I'm off to Circular Head hoping to visit um their community house and rural health Tasmania. Um, I'd love to visit Greenham, so I'm, I'm waiting to hear about that. So yeah, so uh, you know, my aim is to represent um, the Northwest and King Island. You know, both our, um, you know, the man off the street, um, if, which I've had a lot of experience in lately. You know, being a carer and that, right, and, and to our businesses, um, the agricultural sector. So yeah, no, my my aim is to get out there and get noticed and and listen to what people have to say still on this journey. Um, I think that's really important, um, and let people know who I am and that um, while I'm well known on King Island, um, I'm also um, known across the coast. Is it a little bit, uh, Serena, that, uh, well, when you look at the numbers, you look at the votes, you're from King Island, everybody knows you're here, say the whole island votes for you, um, you're still in reality, yeah, you sort of need at least about eight, 9,000 votes if possible. Does that mean, yeah, you've got a lot of homework to do there in the mainland of Breton, I guess? Yep, definitely. And um, that's today where I've started, you know, um, co connecting with people um, today and yesterday um, and to get, you know, pe people need to know you. I think it's very important that people see the face that they vote for. Um, and so I'll, I'll need um, hopefully a, a, I'll have a great team behind me to, to help get my face out there and people to understand what I'm in um and yeah so desperately try to capture as many votes as i can well we all know serena that politics is is a process when you get into politics you need your time to get established to get going uh so let's make it probably clear that you being from king island if the liberal party gets back into governing and even you become a member of the parliament it doesn't mean then straight away because serena is there for us that all our issues will be solved in the next month Definitely no, no. Everything takes time. Um, I just think that we're, this is one step further forward for King Island's voice to be heard, um, and 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 I can say that it already is. Um, so uh, I'm looking forward to some really good announcements in the coming weeks. And yeah, just yep, you've got to be out there to be heard. 
Well, let me say this, uh, make this clear, uh, Serena, that this interview, what we're doing with you right now, is just the introduction of, you're one of us, you're one of King Island. Um, in the next couple of weeks, we will conduct interviews with all the candidates, including yourself, about what they're standing for, why should we vote for you. So we leave all that for now. This was really meant as an introduction and almost like I think for a lot of people on the island that I've spoken to over the last few days, they saw it as a bit of a surprise. What, Serena? Yeah, no, I know. Um, I hope it's a pleasant surprise and that they know that I will, um, I'm will. i out there advocating for King Island and and its residents. So, um, yeah, hopefully that's, yeah, <laughs> it's good. Anyway, I'm sure we talk soon, Serena, because uh, you got a busy agenda, much busier than mine, that's for sure. That, uh, yeah. We thank you very much for your time. and. Uh, Wish you all the best with the, with the campaign. It's a pleasure as always. Thanks so much, Wade.